So there is Chinese democracy movement happening in China, and that should be supported. And uh, other than the Chinese democracy movement, uh, there are other peoples who are under Chinese control today, like the uh, Uyghur people of uh, East Pakistan, the Mongolians in Southern Mongolia. And Manchuria, I don't know now, a lot of people say that is difficult. They have completely become uh, sanitized. They have become Chinese. Uh, but at least, you know, the uh, Uyghur people in in 2009, they protested. They wanted freedom. Uh, the Mongolian students, intellectuals, they protest this, this year, 2011. So there are these sparks of hope, uh, demand for freedom, and these should be supported. And uh, for any government, whether it's in America or Europe or Australia, any, anyone, if you have business with China, have business with the people without infringing on their basic human rights. This is fair trade that you have such a high value of. You know, you, you respect fair trade so much. But if you practice fair trade only in America and, and do not mind buying made in China products which are results of uh, hugely infringed human rights in China, then you are not fair to other people also. So therefore these are the concerns. If a larger uh, population of the world have sympathy with the Chinese people demanding more freedom and democracy, uh, then we, we can actually create a more peaceful world in future. Uh, because if this situation continues in China, either it's going to collapse and shock the world, and the kind of money that uh, United States and China share, you may just lose it if there is a chaos. So therefore, it is uh, better for the United States to help China create a smooth transition power so that you don't lose your money, at least in your interest. Is there any sense that, <clears throat> that some of these oppressed minorities within China um, would ever would ever be willing to work together with the Tibetans? In a sort of, you know, I think we are already working. Already working Many Tibetans are working with Chinese democracy activists uh, who are a little liberal, you know, who are not saying, uh, we want freedom and democracy for China, but we want a better part of China. Yeah. That kind of thing we cannot agree. But if you're working for freedom, genuine freedom in China, and not only in China, but in those occupied countries also, we are willing to work. And we have been in touch with many Chinese activists, uh, democracy and freedom activists. We have been in touch and we are working together. And I think this should be enhanced by multi-layer. Uh, Radio Free Asia is one of the efforts by United States to enhance that kind of dialogue, uh, free communication uh, in China, Tibet, Mong Mongolia, East, East Turkestan, Burma, and many of these countries where China is maintaining that oppressive rule and United States is giving that opportunity for these oppressed people to communicate within and without. And such kind of efforts should be enhanced and should be this, this is something that you can do much more uh, instead of sending military to Afghanistan and Iraq and various other places. <laughs>